Hey everyone, the Kelly Corner here again. Hey, in this video, I wanna wanna kind of give a rundown of what these uh, tote tanks are and how what the use is for them. Just wanted to answer a few questions about you know people have questions about do I really need one? Are they really that good? Well, what do they do exactly? Uh, how difficult are they to operate or um, utilize so just so everyone knows so look with this guy here I mean if you have a small RV like I do and uh, you know we can wife and I when we come up when and we uh, come up with an empty with an empty gray tank we can probably get uh, two nights of showering along with dishes and whatever else before our gray tank gets full, we have a small RV. So um, our holding tank, I believe, um, I don't know exactly, but it's on the smaller side, probably maybe a 30, a 37 gallon, maybe. But you know, this may not be for everyone. Uh, I just wanted to at least show everybody, you know, what the use is for one of these things. And you know now all we have to do we used to we used to hook up the RV when it had a full tank and we had a few extra nights to go and we had a full gray tank. I used to have to kind of unhook everything and creep along up to the dump station to dump our gray tanks um, and then you know come back you know that that really is not a big deal, but this certainly makes it a lot easier to where you don't have to worry about. Unhooking, hooking, packing up your RV somewhat, you know, unhooking your water, unhooking your power, and having to hook this up and tote it to the dump station because your gray tank's full. You know, bigger RVs with bigger holding tanks, I'll tell you right now, probably, you know, you could probably go twice as long as that, you know, with us. Uh, you know, you'd probably go four days or more, depending upon how you conserve. Now, you know, if you're boondocking, whole different story. This isn't about boondocking, this is about Taking care of your gray water problem. This is one of the biggest problems whenever we've had this RV was that our gray tank is full after two nights. And, and even with us conserving, you know, and shutting the water off and everything like that, it really creates a, this extra storage tank here really makes things much easier. And look at how light it is now. It just goes right here in the back of the truck, no problem. Attached to this is this hook. And this hook is actually a ladder hook. And it makes for easy uh, transportation, you know, storage with it. If you put it on the back of your RV, if your RV is equipped with a ladder, you can hook this onto the ladder and strap it down. I'll, these tanks are, these little portable tanks, sometimes they're called cartridges. They're only for your gray water. So they are not meant for black water. So do not attempt to dump your black water in these uh, it's very unsanitary. Uh, this is strictly for gray water. So there's di different varieties and different uh, makes and models of these. Um, and there's different sizes also. Uh, this one here, I've got uh, the Rhino tote tank. Uh, this is model 15G. And there's several different uh, capacities. So I just want to let you know this one is the... 21 gallon capacity, which is kind of the middle of the line for these types of tanks or cartridges. They make larger ones, I think two sizes up, I forget really how high they go. But for anybody that has, uh, you know, small tanks, they have smaller options. I think this one I picked up for around 130 bucks, and I'll show you here what it comes with. I'm in no way affiliated with Rhino and Rhino is not paying me to make this video. I just want everybody to be informed. So what you see here, and the one thing, um, the first thing with this that really stands out to me, that stood out to me, were these large wheels here. Uh, a lot of the cartridge tanks, portable tanks, have a lot smaller wheels, which would make it difficult to get in some tough situations if you had to and I'll kind of if I show you how this operates I'll kind of give you an idea of why you might want the larger wheels this 
it also comes as a kit so you get you get your your elbow fitting swivel you also get an end cap here it's obvious to see how that goes on there you know so that goes right there then you have a couple of ports here one is uh, this is these are both clean out ports but this one has a backflow preventer on it so if you're concerned about that you have that option and you can see here these nice lanyards that keep your connections or your caps from getting lost and this here is the ventilation or oop, just heard air come out of there just now this is uh, for ventilation and you can also hook a hose up to this also one into the hose okay we'll just put this back on here so i'm going to kind of show you how this kind of works and why it might be uh, a good idea for you to own one of these now one of the concerns that i had if you look here at my rv let's walk around here and take a look first let me show you here too that um the kit also comes with comes with uh that's the, another cap um, for the other end uh, if you so choose just to cap cap that instead of using the uh, the elbow this hose right here, I'll show you what this does. This also connects to your vent. Your vent, I call this the vent. But you can connect this to here and you can connect this other end to your hose and flush the tank that way. I also want to show that it does come with the, the typical adapter here for your dump station uh, connections as you can see anybody who's who owns an RV knows and is familiar with this connector and then it comes with a short dump hose also uh, and that's because uh, it's a real short hose and you don't really need a long hose to dump this uh, you may need your long hose to to dump your tank though and I'm going to show you why here in a minute let me close this back up here so the issue that I was concerned about, if you take a look at this, okay, and you look at the height that this is up off the ground, right? Look how low my dump pipe is on my RV. Very low, lower than most. We are a lot higher than we are on this dump pipe on my RV so let's have a look at that so notice here I mean that's a good bit higher so you go well how in the world is that going to drain into here if we're so much higher here than there. There's a technique that you can do to make this work and I'm going to show you. I am lucky enough to have a drop-off close by uh, behind my RV which makes so that way I can change the elevation of my cartridge tank. If I pull this over this way this this way now what I've done is I've created a little bit more of a level playing field it is still higher over there where the where my mini dump tank is versus where my outlet is here but I'm going to show you how we work this out okay so I have my typical long sewer hose RV sewer hose here and I have this is this connects to my dump pipe there so we're just gonna pull this all the way out doing this with one hand so and then what I'm gonna do is we're gonna come over here and go ahead and take off our K 
cap. And we're going to open up a little bit of a ventilation, like so. And now I'm going to connect my end to my dump pipe there, that end of the pipe to the dump pipe. And I'm going to go ahead and connect that end to my portable tank. When I pull my gray, and again, not the black tank, when I pull my gray with a full gray tank, or close to full in my case, uh, the water using, you know, the physics of gravity will push out, go down this pipe, and what we want to happen here is we want to be sure that the pipe is fairly flat on the ground. Have it mostly extended so the water has some place to go. Obviously it's not going to push back up into this tank. But we're going to let that water fill this pipe. And then we're going to force the water into that tank by simply lifting the pipe. So we'll start off right now by dumping the gray. And of course we're not getting any water coming into that spare tank over there, the portable tank, because it is higher than this but their water is flowing out into this pipe. Now, here's the very important part of doing this. You want to be sure to close your gray tank after a certain point, because this pipe's filling up, and you don't want to try to lift this pipe with that valve open, because you may have a pretty bad accident here uh, that if this decides to twist off while you're lifting this pipe if that makes sense now I know you're seeing a little bit of leakage here and I usually pre-wet my um, gasket around that pipe before I do that it prevents that but it's just gray water so it's not hurting a whole lot here now what I'm going to do is lift this pipe and get water to flow into that tank. I have my gray valve shut off. back down again. Okay, then I'll repeat the process one more time.
Okay, so I have released that valve a couple of times, let that pipe fill up a couple of times. So now what I want to do is I don't want to overfill this tank. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to kind of raise it and feel about how heavy it is. And you know it's got a good bit in there. What you don't want to do in this situation is overfill this where you're stuck, where you have water trapped between the RV and this tank. So you, so that's the only thing you want to be sure that you uh, don't overfill this. So a couple of times I did it, it feels fairly full. You can see the water splashing up there a little bit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to disconnect this pipe and be sure all the water flushes out. So now at this point, we simply disconnect our sewer line from here, and then we plug in our plug here, and then we can go dispose of it. I've got that end capped off. Please don't forget to go ahead and close your vent here so nothing spills out. So here's where the big wheels come in, in my opinion. A lot of, the, a lot of these come with really small, like four inch, wheels on them and sometimes it's beneficial to pull your spare holding tank here uh, down a slope similar to this or sometimes when you dump it you know you may have to cross i don't know who knows what but to me this just uh just makes a little bit more sense so let's we're going to pick this up we're going to tote this over to the, my truck and i'm going to show you how we towed it to the um, station to a dump station there, or, in, or or your gray water clean out, or wherever they had their gray water drain on the campsite. And sometimes that could be a little bit of a distance away. So there's a, instead of walking this, I'm gonna show you how we do it with this particular model. You know, obviously larger gallons, sizes of these are gonna be heavier when you fill them up with water. This is a, you know, it's not light, but it's not heavy either. So we pick it up like this, we know it's not going to leak, and I can push it out. I'm using one hand, by the way. I'm going to bring it this way. Got a bump there. I'll we'll pull it right over there. And pull our gray tank around. Rhino, this Rhino model also comes equipped with one of these. What does this do? Well, this allows us to hook up this tank to our trailer hitch. To tote it to the gray water dump and this just goes like that and then goes like this and that's it so I can I can lift with that we'll keep pulling it over to my truck set that down so as you can see the tank now pulls up and it's right over your Hitch. Perfect. Let's get this to the dump station. And there we go. Here is another good reason why the big tires or the big wheels will help, in my opinion. We have to go out here to get to the gray water dump. Already we're dealt with or looking at a very large bump in the road right there. So I've noticed ones with smaller wheels. And I would feel more comfortable with something with tires or wheels of this size going over that or any other, quote, rough terrain or whatever you want to call it. So, uh, yeah, let's get this uh, toted over to the gray station. Watch how easy this is to dump. Once we have our tank pulled over, portable tank pulled over to our dump station, we simply take it off the hitch, remove the hitch, put it away, the hitch adapter there, 
and let's just mosey this on over to this spot. There we go. Remove the cap. Open the drain, the uh, ventilation, and we'll just lift from here and dump our tank. And that is a dang fair bit of water. Set her back down, put the lid back on, cap, tighten up your vent, throw this in the back of your vehicle, and that is how we use this extra gray dump tank.